Welcome to Toledo. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present the finalists for this afternoon's PBA National Championship. The fifth seat is Johnny Petraglia, PBA Hall of Famer, one of three to capture Bowling's Triple Crown. He'll meet the man who won this title just two years ago, two-time champion Eric Borkel. Next up is the reigning PBA Player of the Year, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Looking for his first major title and second win of the year. The second seeded player is making his first TV Finals, Dale Traber, PBA 15-time regional winner. For the first time ever in a PBA Finals, Dale's brother, David Traber, is our leading qualifier and needs to win just one game to earn his first title in the PBA National Championship. Yes, a capacity crowd at Imperial Lanes for the PBA National Championship, total prize money of $175,000. And hello again, Chris Schenkel, speaking to you from this river city, the glass capital of the world. We're on the Maumee today and we look forward to all of the excitement you met the five stars this is the 14th consecutive year that imperial lanes has hosted it and back in the 70s my colleague nelson burton jr won here so we bring him in right now hi bo hi chris how are you i love that opening by the way it was great and you know the last couple of weeks have been the some of the most exciting ever in pba history walter ray williams jr 10 strikes in a row two weeks ago before he missed for 289 last week at the true value tournament leader norm duke 11 strikes one spare 280, not enough, as Brian Goble had 11 strikes and missed on the 12th one. He would have received a $200,000 bonus. Well, this is the first duel of Bowling's Triple Crown, the PBA National, and the scoring has not stopped. The players have broken just about every PBA National record in the first six days, and Chris, a lot of money at stake, a big title, and I'm sure the scores will be big again today. Okay, with that green jacket goes $27,000, 14 per second. Eight for third, six, and then 5,000 as we go into that first head-to-head -head match, a big one between 47-year-old Johnny Petragli of New Jersey and Eric Forkel of California, 33-year-old. Petragli with 14 championships in a 29-year PBA career. Former president of the PBA. First shot, left lane. Pretty good shot for his mm -hmm. opening shot, Chris. Uh, it's been 14 years since John has been to the winning's, winner's circle. Uh, his game looks sharp as ever this week, though, as he's picked up his footwork speed. Now he just needs a little confidence. The opening frames are important. Next week, it's the Johnny Petragli Open at Carrier Lanes in New Jersey. He was supposed to be there today to uh, bowl with our wheelchair buddies who bowl like gangbusters, but they're watching him here along with you. And now here is Eric Forkel. Chatsworth, California, survived the earthquake. Powerful strike, Nelson. Well, Eric Forco is just a terrific player, and one of the reasons I think he is so good is his release and arm swing. From this position, you watch how he sets up in a very stable position. He doesn't take much of a knee bend, but watch this release as he comes through the ball. Inside out arm swing, perfect position. The ball lofted well over the foul line. Look at the foul line, the follow through down the target line, opens with a perfect shot. Here's the man that won the 1992 PBA National right here, Imperial Lanes, then went on to win in Erie. Both these players have won the national championship. Johnny came from the number five position when he won in 1980 and Eric came from the first match when he won here a couple years back so both know how to go all the way so for Pat and Johnny Petrag is sort of a um, 47th happy birthday president getting, getting into the finals at least he can uh, make today his 5,000 here he is on the right lane now spare working second frame
Johnny Petraglia, one of the great games in the history of bowling. He drops that left shoulder, inside out arm swing, tremendous wrist release. Look at John's wrist as he snaps through the ball. A lot different than Eric Forco. Eric is more of a control player. John, a power player with a lot of wrist snap. The match is even after two frames. John can take the lead if he strikes here in the third. This part of America, Northern Ohio, Southern Michigan, through Northern Indiana is a great bowling territory. And as you look in the crowd here, you see uh, bowling fans of all ages, Nelson, because it, it's just a reflection of how bowling is enjoyed in this part of the Midwest. You bet. Lucky, lucky, high hit, leaving the four. Chris, you're right, he gets a really good break as he goes high. He almost left the four six, knocks the six pin down, and almost trips out the four. He's quickly up on the approach with another ball. He just slides this across the lane, tap out the four pin. Eric Forkel, who was injured earlier this year during the Los Angeles earthquake, is in this championship round, is apparently on the road to recovery. Well, Nelson, right now I feel really, really good. Uh, been a tough road back. I feel 100% right now, and when once the adrenaline gets going, I'm sure it'll carry me through. I expect to do real well today. Chris, there's something that you don't see Eric, Eric Farkle do very often, and that's he had his back swing behind his back, then he bounced it out. He didn't quite get the leverage. You have to have an inside-out arm swing, and his ball slides by the head pin. He leaves the one, three, six, seven. Needs to get the ball to the right of the, three, the head pin, drive the head into the seven, the ball take out the three and six. All right, it's an open frame for Eric Parker. Today's PBA National isn't the only crown being awarded this week in Toledo. You know, Toledo is also hosting the 10th annual Glass City Nine Ball Open. The average Grand Prix lasts but a few hours, unless it's a Grand Prix started with a genuine Delco Freedom battery. Because the battery that cranked up every 1993 IndyCar Series winner has the power to help keep your engine in the race for a long life. Call 1-800-AC-DELCO. It's like buying time. Keep your car in the running for that extra lap with Delco batteries. It's never fun to eat and run, to rush and eat too fast. Cause you know it's gonna catch up with you at last. For acid indigestion or heartburn with headache, nothing's faster than Alka-Seltzer. Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. Cameron Park, California makes Ace their place. Know why? We make hardware. Easy. This month, just ask Ace about their great deals like Ace 5-star flat latex wall paint, just $7.77 a gallon. Ace is America's place for better ideas. Introducing the official PBA sweatshirt, not available in any store. Order now by calling this number. For just $19.99, you'll get a full-cut Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt bearing the official emblem of the PBA Tour, the only one of its kind. Choose either white or gray. We can't guarantee you'll get a strike every time you put this on, but we can guarantee you won't find the official PBA sweatshirt anywhere else. And don't forget to order a spare. Call 1-800-214-4200 to order your PBA sweatshirt. Pay just $19.99 plus $3.95 shipping and handling. Credit card orders accepted. Standing room only crowd for this year's version of the PBA National Championship Imperial Lanes in Toledo, Ohio. Johnny Petraglia, 47 years old, a triple crown champion. Again, going after the national championship, which he won in Sterling Heights, Michigan, not too far from here, in 1980. Leads by 26, two in a row. Ooh, how he wanted to go up 36. Yes, he did. Very aggressive with that shot. John has sped up his feet this week, and he's getting a lot more rhythm and power in his ball. I think as he got a little older in the last couple of years, he was becoming more tentative. He's cutting it loose this week, and he really looks sharp. Nice delivery. Triple crown winner Johnny Petraglia recaps his last victory here. 
and he still has a dream. Well, 1980 was such a great day. I uh, needed the national to get the third jewel of the triple crown. I was the most excited I've ever been. I needed a double to lock out Gary Dickinson to win the title. And here uh, would be great because it would be four decades. And since my chances are getting few and far between, I'd love for it to be today. Okay, bowling like the champion of old. <laughs> Strike in the fifth frame, leading by 25. And now Eric Forkel has to rebound after an open shooting in the fifth. There he is. Eric does a lot of self-training with a video camera. And he, if he saw that last shot he threw on the left-hand lane, he'd worry about his arm swing bouncing out. Let's see if he can correct that and get back into the match. Leaving a 4-7. This is our first game, the winner to meet last year's finest, Walter Ray Williams Jr. And then Dale Traber, and then David Traber. You guessed it, brothers. Right now, Eric cutting through the middle on the right-hand lane, hitting light on the left-hand lane, is struggling with his swing. Good concentration, but he has to get his swing back together. Now, what you have to do when you have a problem with your arm swing like that is make sure that the from under your armpit down to your elbow goes to the target. Now, Eric is playing a medium inside line. He's going to try to play right around the third arrow. He's almost perfect in his approach. He'll be in this area, very little hook, but watch that arm swing. Make sure it goes to target. Gets his second strike of this first match as Walter Ray Williams continues to stay loose off to our right. John Petraglia is back up. Six frame. Represents a wonderful family, his mother and father and his wife, Pat, and two children, John and Jamie. They are the salt of the earth, though. Little John Jr. said, uh, hey, Daddy, you're bowling today, but get home in time to bowl in the Pro-Am with me. <laughs> so here's John, who throws a much more powerful ball than Forkle. will be over in this area, drifting here, be around the third arrow, and then he'll bend it out. Look at that. He had a double, and now he's put three in a row. Takes a 45-10 lead here in Toledo, Ohio. Another Toledo happening this weekend is the Autorama Custom Hot Rod Show at the Sports Arena. Take a look. Hey, girls, before Daddy gets up. Ooh, ready. Hmm. Now, no more of these are Daddy's corn pops. Oh, look. Daddy's bowl is too full. The problem with a cereal that tastes like popcorn, only sweeter, mm. is that it disappears mm. like popcorn, mm. only faster. Mommy, that's Daddy. Who's there? Hi, girls. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thanks, guys. Now let's all go make him breakfast. <laughs> Kellogg's Corn Pops. It's hard to stop when it's Pops. Genseo puncture resistant tires on your next trip to New York. I like it. How about you? Ice dancers dazzle at the Durasoft Colors World Challenge of Champions, plus Olympic gold medalist Gordieva and Grinkov. Next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Wide World later. Next up here, Eric Forkel. Strike up and needs to double because he's trailing by 45. First game, his uh, opponent, Johnny Petraglia. I uh, hit. Can't get it left. 
Well, he's calling his own commentary. He's absolutely correct. When the swing bounce out, bounces out at the top of your backswing, you pull it across your body, you can't project the ball to the left, and then you cannot play the lane correctly. He's struggling, trails by 45, if he converts his spare in the seventh. Oh, silver ball, <laughs> hitting the two and the four and leaving the seven, and it's the second open frame, and our on-the-approach reporter from North Carolina professional bowler, Curtis Odom. Walter Ray, you're at leading average again this year. What kind of adjustments did you have to make in this bowling center with the 20 lanes that, are have, that have the synthetic overlay? Well, the, uh, one of the advantages on the ball straighter is that uh, going from different lane conditions and different types of surfaces, I don't have to worry about the different uh, reactions so much, and my adjustments are very minimal, if any. Reaction, of course, was from a delayed hit on the seventh pin, Nelson. Chris, the head pin comes off the right sideboard. Eric Forkel come, had nothing good happen this match so far, and he takes out the seventh. He has a slight glimmer of hope, but Tr Tragley is up, and he's got ball in hand. Leaving a three. Safety valve shot for John. 56 pin lead. Right now, Johnny going at a 228 pace. The best Eric Forkel can do is 202. So John has to just mark here in two of the final three frames, and he will go against Walter Ray Williams Jr. in the second match for our Triple Crown. The PBA National. Okay. Here's a good look at John. 5'11, 170 pounds. Good shape. coming in the ninth frame of the first game for Mr. John Petraglia. John with an extremely powerful ball in the left-hand lane. Almost leaves the solid eight. The one or three pin kicks off the sideboard, takes it out. Forco must strike every shot there, any chance. Tonight on the ABC Saturday Night Movie, Sean Connery is Bond, James Bond, and Never Say Again, Kim Bassinger and Barbara Carrara. Co-star starting at 8, 7 Central tonight. Parental discretion is advised. Eric Forkel, 10th frame, first match, can strike out for 202. Not to be for Eric today, Chris. Uh, he was spotty in the whole match, and I'm sure he'll critique this game. But uh, there's the winner of the first match, Johnny Petraglia, and that sets up Walter Ray Williams, Jr., mm -hmm. who's nobody's been able to stop in his march to being number one in the world. Let's see what Petraglia can offer him in the next match. We congratulate Eric, recovering from an injury sustained in the California earthquake. Um, Making it back successfully, because after all, he got in here as a fourth seed. And in this first match against Johnny Petraglia, accurate as ever. Oh, so, the Eric who won here in 1992. It's a fifth place finish and a handshake from the Triple Crown champ, Petraglia. 181 for Eric Forkel. This ABC Sports presentation of Professional Bowlers Tour will continue after these messages and a word from our ABC station. Hi. Is this space taken? No. And then I'll sit down. You want a Bud Light? Not yet. That's my Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. How about a little help here? <clears throat> sure. Unsure. Sure. Unsure. Sure Solid has the most effective wetness fighting ingredient you can buy. So when dryness counts, 
be sure to be dry. Start a project with Minwax Wood Finish and turn new into treasured, ordinary into extraordinary, even pine into cherry, because Minwax Wood Finish makes it easy to turn any project into a beautiful masterpiece. Minwax makes wood beautiful. Gil Jones is about to get a big surprise from his daughter. You want to move in? Only if it works for you. It doesn't. From the producers of Home Improvement. Harry! Edward Astor stars in a new comedy. Thunderality premiering Wednesday. A perfect game starts with perfect equipment, and Fuller Supply Company is right up your alley. From bags to balls, their all-new location offers a completely stocked showroom, including family fun games like foosball, plus pool, billiards, ping pong, and card game tables. An 11,000 square foot warehouse features the largest and most complete bowling supply inventory in Central PA. When it comes to bowling supplies and a great selection of family fun games, all roads and alleys lead to Bowler Supply, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, just down the road from Comedy Park North, York. The Lilac City Tournament plans to pay over $1 million this year. Bowl and have fun in Rochester, New York. Enter the high-paying men's team event. The women's team event. And the mixed team event. Win with the Lilac. There are 18 great events, including doubles and singles for men, women, and mixed. We plan to pay out over $1 million. Call 1-800-36-LILAC now. Win with the Lilac. Was this convict let out of prison too soon? Watch the next American Journal. The Pro Bowlers Tour. Brought to you by the Crest Complete Toothbrush. Crest Complete helps maintain a dentist clean. Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. And Split Fire. The patented performance spark plug. It only costs more until you use it. Johnny Patraglia has defeated Eric Cork on our first match with seven strikes, 237 to 181. I'm going to talk a little bit about another winner named Doug Wilson. The Directors Guild of America tonight is honoring Doug for his nearly well, going into the fourth decade as a producer director with ABC. Best in the business, he joins Ted Nathanson and also another friend, Harry Coyle, the two previous winners of this prestigious Outstanding Individual Achievement Award for a Director. We congratulate him, and now we're rooting for our own Larry Cam for 1995. Okay, here's Curtis Odom, Jr. Well, we have the Travers here. Um, which one of you guys is going to end up buying dinner today? I'll volunteer because uh, every day that I bought uh, this week, I shot the bigger block. <laughs> now I'm buying dinner because I'm going to win, no matter who it is. Well, what we have right here is... The road to the PBA National Championship has to go through the Travers. Bo, Chris. All right. The brothers, stock car drivers, professional bowlers. We'll see them later. Right now, player of the year. He was the same in 1986. I tell you, Chris, the winner of this match, I have to tab as the man to beat for the tournament. These okay. guys are tough. Another Californian going against the man from New Jersey, Johnny Petraglia. I told John before he went on today, besides a little Geritol in his coffee, all he needed was some confidence. He got that confidence with his first match victory. Let's see what happens against Walter Ray. What was that? Concoction, Bo? Okay. He's amazing. Oh, he's so, he's so personable, Chris, too. Now, Johnny Petragli is playing the extreme inside line, actually much more hooked than any other player on the TV show, and he'll be sliding in this area, so he'll be swinging it out very wide, and this is his attempt at a double. And I'm sure that brought Lee Livingston right off the sofa. He's our host next week for the Johnny Petraglia Open, and this man is whew, bowling the best right now. Walter Ray. Walter Ray Williams Jr. very seldom loses the ball on the downswing. As we look at his release here, 
You'll see him lose the ball in a downswing. One of Walter's greatest assets is he always gets the ball out over the foul line. Watch this ball here. It'll be right into the approach. No lift. You see, he usually gets it about two feet over the line, slides by the head pins, left with a 2-7 split. Oh, and an open frame. Walter Ray, who set many records in 93, one of them 61 consecutive 200 games on the tour over a period of two weeks and four perfect games in a single tournament. Trails in this match by 22. And he leads in averages here in 94, 227. Second in money. For Johnny, it's important to get a big lead in this match. Walter Ray is most dangerous when he's behind in a match. And right now, Johnny has the chance to put him way behind. It's very important. Hey, three bagger. Tomorrow, there's exciting regional action on ABC's Pizza Hut College Basketball. Many of you will see the Louisville Cardinals take on the Bruins of UCLA or in the Big Eight, Oklahoma hosts Kansas. All tomorrow, right here, ABC Sports. Fourth frame. Johnny Petraglia, four bagger. You know, this month and next, the Toledo Museum of Art, a fantastic place, plays host to an exhibit called The Age of Rubens. Splitfire earned a United States patent. Splitfire doesn't look like any other spark plug. And the patented Splitfire doesn't work like any other spark plug. Five extra horsepower by merely installing these plugs. Quicker in the quarter mile. A 4.8% gain in mileage. There's nothing like a Splitfire. You'll get more power and more mileage. Or your money back. Get the guaranteed Splitfire advantage at leading automotive stores from coast to coast. When your dentist cleans your teeth, he uses special instruments that get between them. But what toothbrush would your dentist prefer to use? Well, in a recent nationwide test, dentists tried a leading flat brush and Crest Complete. The brush more dentists preferred was Crest Complete. See, Crest Complete is shaped like your teeth, so it reaches far between them. Now, shouldn't you choose Crest Complete? Of course you should. And it's now available in designer black. A Hall of Famer returns home to host Foley's Brightest Stars. From the Garden State, it's the Johnny Petraglia Open next Saturday on ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour. We're in Toledo. Capacity crowd at Imperial Lanes. 14th consecutive year hosting the PBA National Championship. A classic that this man has yet to win. You threw it poorly in the second frame and pretty well in the fourth. However, nothing good has happened so far. Mm -hmm. You missed the split in the second, solid 10 in the fourth, trailing Johnny Petraglia by 42. Walter, this is his fourth television appearance this year. Out of seven, Paige Pennington, his fiance. For Walter, it's his 63rd time on television. 14 championships, 18 seconds. Second strike for player of the year. Here's a span of Johnny's championship trek to win the Triple Crown. He won the 1971 Tournament of Champions, the 1977 U.S. Open, and the 1980 PBA National Championship. Now, 
Vietnam resident or um, veteran is on the left lane. Halfway to $100,000. for Walter Ray Williams. Johnny Petraglia, the injured thumb just from bowling a lot of games, didn't even practice this Sunday, just said he would figure out the lanes. Look at that ring on his right hand. That's a triple crown ring, but rested his thumb all week, but it doesn't bother him now. 6-10 on the left lane. Walter, who has a very busy schedule, tonight he's going to Saginaw, Michigan to bowl a exhibition charity for Saginaw General Hospital tomorrow, is in big trouble in this match. Piers voted him player of the year, best spare shooter, most adaptable, Mr. Everything in 93. And off to a good start, second in money, by Norm Duke. 109,000 for Duke. 79 for Walter Ray. Okay. Five more. And as we said, perfect game today. $100,000 true value hardware. 47-year-old veteran, two different personas, one on the lanes of a very aggressive, as you can see, tough player and a very soft-smoking demeanor off the lanes. John is opinionated but soft-spoken, has the first seven, eighth frame. Four to go. Gets up with a spare working shooting in the eighth frame, trailing by 74. Great, beautiful shot. The Traber brothers are staying loose off to the right. Walter Ray, the best he can shoot is 226. Make it 206 now. He mm -hmm. just becomes a spectator in the Johnny Petraglia march to a possible second national championship. John is perfect through eight. Walter Ray, one in Las Vegas, second in the Bud Light, second in the Choice Hotels. Oh, he's going to finish fourth here. But the spotlight is on this man. The graphic tells it eight consecutive. Let's watch. John was sitting with me when Walter had 10 in a row two weeks ago, and he thought he, Walter would shoot 300. John's been in this position one other time. He bowled a 298 on ABC television. He said, I will never shoot a 298 again. He, if he can get these three, it's worth 100,000. Two weeks in a row, we've had a player with 10 in a row. Goble got to 11 last week. John's going for 11. Here we go.
can't think of anybody finer to win at all. Match in hand, $100,000 bonus if he strikes on this ball. idea. Writer idea. True value. Help is just around the corner. Okay, two scoops of raisins make Kellogg's Raisin Bran taste so good, people forget it's good for you. What do you think? It's delicious. And? It uh, tastes good. That's the same reason. He stole my answer. Yeah, no, it's not an answer. I, I agree with them. It tastes great. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. You got the first part right. Kellogg's Raisin Bran tastes good, but... Good, good for us! Yeah. There are two reasons to eat Kellogg's Raisin Bran. The taste. And... Louisville heads west to take on UCLA. Where Kansas invades Oklahoma for a key Big 8 battle. It's Pizza Hut College Basketball Sunday on ABC. Perfect, John. Oh. <laughs> college is taken care of. I'm so happy. The kids can go to college. Everything's gravy from now on. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? The kids can go to college. Mike Connor, uh, Commissioner of the PBA. John, here's that hundred thousand dollars to help those college kids. Congratulations. One quick comment. I'm Pat, your mom and dad. Boy, oh boy. Oh, um, well, everybody at home must be going nuts. And if I don't get a chance uh, later, at least, uh, to, to Freddie Borden for helping me out and Ray Edwards for laying out my equipment and everybody else, I just... And thanks. Value. And true value. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go buy a hammer and store and build a place. <laughs> oh, boy. And, of course, Johnny, we're going to go back to the 11th. 11 shot where a pin almost didn't go down just to make you fully appreciate what happened look over here at a monitor and i think uh larry cam and carol Letty, our producer and director uh, are going to show you that we're looking at it right now yeah i got a i was a little bit soft on this shot i was getting nervous and it looked like i was going to overhook high and it held right at the end <laughs> I'll give you a 10 on that leap. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny. We'll see you in a little while. Thank you, Mike. And we're going to take a break here at Imperial Lanes. Another 300, and couldn't happen to a greater guy named Johnny Petraglia, for whom the tournament next week is named. We'll be back. ABC Sports presents a winning never gets old bowling tip. Brought to you by Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotels. Our special guest today is two-time U.S. Open champion and Hall of Famer, Paula Carter. And Paula, in that shot, your game looks as strong as ever. You may be a little bit older, but the game's solid. Right, and as I've gotten older, I've lost some strength, Bo. So what I've done is I've looked out in the market and found out what's new so I could keep up my bowling. And what I found are reactive resin bowling balls, which hit a lot harder than the other balls used to, finger grips, which make you lift the ball a lot better, 
and new gloves because you've also lost strength in your wrist. At least I have, so I need some help. A great tip from a great lady. Take advantage of today's technology. In fact, she told me she averaged 215 in league last year with a 14-pound bowling ball. So do what she does. Remember, winning never gets old. Look for future ABC Sports Winning Never Gets Old Bowling Tips. Brought to you by Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotels. There are gut balls and gutter balls. And sometimes, the trophy falls. But no matter what, you'll love the bowlers who have it all on ABC Sports Home Video, Bowling the Perfect Game. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR to order bowling's colorful history. Narrated by Chris Shankle and Nelson Burton Jr. This collector's home video can be yours to enjoy for only $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping. That's 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. You know, winning never gets old. And neither does saving money. If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE to reserve a room in any quality, comfort, clearing, or sleep hotel. And you can save 30% off the price of your room. That number again, 1-800-4-CHOICE. Perfect. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at quality, comfort, clarion, and sleep hotels. When it comes to tough hand tools, we're making a name for ourselves. Because they're made with a full lifetime warranty. That's Ace, the name to know for hand tools. Okay, I confess, I want my hair to look great. So I use a special shampoo and conditioner that cleans and completely conditions without the hassle. Net result, no matter what I've been doing, my hair does what I want it to. Hurt Plus. Great hair, no fuss. Introducing the official PBA sweatshirt, not available in any store. Order now by calling this number. For just $19.99, you'll get a full-cut Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt bearing the official emblem of the PBA Tour, the only one of its kind. Choose either white or gray. We can't guarantee you'll get a strike every time you put this on, but we can guarantee you won't find the official PBA sweatshirt anywhere else. And don't forget to order a spare. Call 1-800-214-4200 to order your PBA sweatshirt. Pay just $19.99 plus $3.95 shipping and handling. Credit card orders accepted. Well, the first game was won by Johnny Petraglia, but what a commotion in the second. A perfect game worth $100,000. The kids can go to college, he said, against last year's great champion, Walter Ray Williams, Jr., 300 to 194. What an exciting moment. We hope you were there to enjoy, to enjoy it with us. And there he is, calming down beautifully after that momentous $100,000 performance. And now he goes on against Dale Traber, one of the brothers. Tournament recap now, Nelson. Well, Chris, the tournament's really only half over, but you can see the size of the field in this seven-day tournament. 249 players, 225 to make the top 24. Rounding out the field, Amleto just missed. The big D was in seventh. John Moss has got his family on tour. Number three all-time, Brian, uh, Mike Albee, Brian Gobel up there. Three lefties there in the middle. Mike Shady improving. Moser a solid check. Ricky Ward still looking for his car in the parking lot. <laughs> Just stay rock. Mike Edwards coming out of the slump. Bob Spaulding with the power play. Purpo and Hoskins were kind of lost in the top 24, Chris, but it's on to Petraglia land next week. That's right, to uh, North Brunswick, New Jersey, Carolair Lanes, Lee Livingston. That's a week from today. And then two weeks from today, we go out to Sayville, Long Island, New York, for the Long Island Open. And we look forward to that stop as much. Okay, right now, John Petraglia shakes the hand. 36-year-old Dale Traber, a non-winner, 15 regional titles. And here is a 47-year-old professional that has just bowled a $100,000 perfect game. Chris, I think he's had enough time to settle down. Well, I don't know. Look at his mm. face. Oh. The emotion's still there, but he's a tough guy. Let's see if he can pull it back together. Totally, totally professional. Oh, come on. That's his 13th strike in a row, and it's, uh, he celebrated his 47th on Thursday. What a birthday present. The first of the Traber boys, Dale, kind of an unheralded player, well-known in the Midwestern region with 15 regional titles. First time on national television. 
little apprehensive with that shot, but mm -hmm. the right-hand lane on this championship pair, 25 and 26 at Ducats Lanes, doesn't finish quite as much as the left. Now look at his release. He has a very simple release. Just releases the ball, not much wrist action, a lot like the, the great Don Carter and Earl Anthony. Okay, we're at the PBA National Championship. And the defending champion, Ron Palumbi, or I should say the man who won it last year, he finished tied for 55th. Dale Traver throws hardly any hook at all. He's way to the extreme right, and he'll be right around this first arrow. Almost everything perfectly in line. Dale is 36. His brother, the tournament leader, whom you'll see meeting the winner of this game, David, is 31. Two-time PBA champion who had a knee operation in the late 80s. I uh, wondered if he would re-injure it there going for the 300 game, but I think that was the last thing on his mind. Looks great. 14 in a row. He just joined us, Johnny Petraga with a 300. To Walter A. Williams, 194, now has opened with a double here in his second game of the afternoon, the semifinal. The full grip by John, tucks that little pinky finger real close to the index finger, snaps that wrist. Great wrist action. You know, Chris says, uh -huh. John says, you know what? I throw all those balls in the pocket, but I miss once. Can I get a spare? Well, he ends up with a split here, the 4-7. 10, and that's how you got to convert it. John will really zip the ball at this shot. Mm -hmm. You know, that really is kind of unlucky, Chris. I mean, you throw 14, 15 balls solid in the pocket, you make one little mistake, you don't have to hit, pay the maximum penalty, but he sure did at that juncture, and he has opened the door for an untested Dale Traver. Dale not using heck of a lot of the approach. Oh, averting a 7-10. He doesn't use a heck of a lot of the lane, Chris. That's no. a, a straight a ball as we've seen in years on the PBA Tour. And you see from the wide shot right here, the ball hitting light almost leaves the 7-10. He gets a good break as the 5 sawed out the 7 has the 10 pin remaining. This right hand lane's a little tighter. He's going to have to make an adjustment. He's five feet ten inches to always 200 pounds. The best this year was 58th in the Bud Light. 15 regional titles. The PBA is broken into seven regions around the country, and these are tournaments held normally on weekends where players can hone their skills either as part-time like Dale or to get ready for the Pro Tour. Dale won five regionals last year three in a row in the very tough midwestern region that's wisconsin iowa missouri as you see him going right through the middle watch the 10 pin it's the last pin to fall almost gets a split has an easy spare conversion if he makes it he'll lead by three after four frames <laughs> three pin lead by Schreiber. Bren toledo you know, one of the large rooms at the magnificent Toledo Museum of Art exhibits paintings inspired by Rubens. Laura Glenn is being dragged down by a tough cold. But she's about to break free with an effervescent rush of relief. Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. Pills take time to dissolve, but Alka-Seltzer Plus is ready the moment you take it. Rushing powerful medicines to soothe your aches. Relieve your runny nose. Free your breathing. Nothing rushes relief like Alka-Seltzer Plus. Some say it's dangerous to manipulate.
manipulate the laws of physics, to tinker with hard and fast scientific rules, to change bowling to its very core. Then to our critics we say, evolve or die. Quantum is a revolutionary urethane ball with multiple core configurations, creating identical reaction and power in lightweight and heavyweight balls. And changing the structure of the game forever. Ice dancers dazzle at the Durasoft Colors World Challenge of Champions, plus Olympic gold medalist Gordieva and Grinkov. Next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. All right, here's our leader, younger brother David Traber. Traber boys, are one two at this point. David is meeting Johnny Petraglia, who in the previous game shot a 300 worth $100,000. Johnny Petraglia, five-step delivery, a little custom-made shoe action there. Has an open in the third, trying to rebound here in the fourth. But Chris, that's the best shot he's thrown since he's almost spent himself completely in that perfect game. He looks a little more relaxed. Mm -hmm. He had his swing tucked in. He got his ball speed back up there. Didn't get a good break. The solid eight pin, and that's the pin you were talking about that he almost left right. in the 11th frame of the previous game. I'll feel a lot better when he gets some of that color back in his face. Goodness. <laughs> he's real. Why not? Trying to be the only the second man to win PBA championships at the national level in four decades. The only other player to do it, the great Dick Weber. Mm. All right, here's John with a little extra ball speed, but not enough to hold that reactive resin ball back. He almost leaves a 6-8 split. Now, remember, he left the 8-pin in the previous frame. Now he's high again, almost a 6-8. Needs to make an adjustment. opponent in the semifinal match, Dale Traber, leading by four. He has a spare up shooting in the fifth frame. Mom and Dad, Bob and Jeanette Traber coming in from Wisconsin. Coming up next, ABC's Wide World of Sports returns with ice dancing from the Durasoft colors. World Challenge of Champions, plus special performances from one-of-a-kind event, Skates of Gold, by Olympic gold medalists Gordieva and Grinkoff, and Christy Yamaguchi. And we'll head out west for the Santa Anita Handicap, all next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. I'm ready for the horses. Are Dale Traber, Yes, sir. Dale Traber can take a 14-pin lead with a strike here. <laughs> brother, the tournament leader, watches off to the right as we watch Johnny Petraglia. Not so in this game. <laughs> oh, no. The one, three, six, nine. John needs to get to the right of the head pin, let the ball cream down the right side, and do the remaining work on the back pins. Chris, I think you picked it up. John, he shot his wad in that last game, but it was worth 100,000 bucks. This one's not over, but he really has to gather his energies and his mind right here as he trails by 29, not an insurmountable lead. There's still four frames left. But he has to go to the whip right now. Mm -hmm. After opening with a double, it's his first strike since coming in the seventh. On the Maumee River, Toledo, the second largest employer here in this Ohio city, is what? The University of Toledo. Look at one of its many buildings. Surprised when my dentist told me I had a tartar problem. Doctor, I said, 
I brush with baking soda and peroxide. He said, those aren't tartar fighting ingredients, so your teeth aren't as clean as they could be. Use tartar control crest. But doctor, I said, shouldn't I use baking soda and peroxide for my gums? Pete, he said, they're not proven to do anything special for your gums either. So I used Crest, and my tartar problem, <laughs> no problem. Tartar Control Crest, it's proven to fight tartar buildup. It's the dentist's choice. No more surprises for me. Driver, do you have any Bud Light in your vehicle? Yes. And I am Mr. Gally Weekich. You mean Dr. Galakowicz? Yes, I am. This is so cool. First time in a limo, doctor? In a limo this small. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. My name is Bond. Saturday. James Bond. Kim Basinger is taking Sean Connery on the ride of his life. Never again. Never say never again. Never? Saturday, parental discretion advised. We're seven weeks away from the General Tire Tournament of Champions. In from Akron. Marilyn Close and Jeff Gibbs. Welcome. That will be the third and final jewel of the Triple Crown. The U.S. Open will be contested five weeks from today. Now, Dale Traber up 29 pin lead over Petraglia, seventh frame. Three six ten on the right lane. Out of control there. Dale got his shoulders too far forward, over his knees, and pulls the ball high. It leaves the three six ten a very accurate spare shooter, and he needs to ploy that skill right here to maintain a 26-pin lead. Remember, the winner will go into the final game worth 27,000 to the victor. And the winner of this match will meet David Traver, who led the last two rounds. His brother, at whom you're looking, then he's second. Dale Traber going at a 205 pace, but Traglia potential 219. Three frames left. Johnny Petraglia must perform with strikes in the next couple of frames to stay close in the match and squeeze Dale Traber in the tenth. Here we go, eighth frame. to 16 but it's getting late John with the second biggest shot I have to say of the week for him obviously the perfect game last game the 12th shot was the biggest but he can really put the squeeze on Dale Traber with a strike here in the ninth Gave it a Sunday ball, not to be. The four just launched around the seven, a solid seven. Johnny with a spare and striking out, can only bowl 198. He has to hope the Traber opens. Dale Traber can close the door on Johnny Petraglia with a strike here in the ninth or a two spares. Ninth and tenth frames coming, national championship semifinal game. Hello. Our first mm -hmm. DOA of the year, Chris, the little mm -hmm. Billy Idol dead on arrival shot. That baby hit the one three and almost bounced into the ten pin. Right now, he's in trouble. He needs to make the 5-7, get the ball to the right of the 5, slide it into the 7. If he does not, he opens the door for Petraglia as they both go to the 10th frame. Here we go. Oh. 33rd year of the Professional Bowlers Tour. First time in the five-man step ladder finals that we've had brothers. They, we may not have brothers bowling against for the title no. if Dale Traver doesn't perform here in the 10th. Dale needs two strikes and six pins to shut out John. Anything less, the ragman can take the semifinal match. Here we go, 10th frame. John 
in the catbird seat. Can't do much about it. He, if Dale Traver gets strike in six, it'll be the brothers in the finals. Anything less, the rag man can come up in the 10th and make himself a winner and go into the championship match. Here we go. And Penn opens the door for Petraglia. Right now, John Petraglia is going to need two strikes and six pins, the same thing his opponent needed to shut him out. John, once again, has to reach back as he did in the previous game, has to perform in the 10th. Cedarburg, Wisconsin. 14 years since his last victory. He came from fifth to first to win the 1980 National Championship. He has to throw two strikes to keep hopes alive of doing that again here in 94. Here we go. There's one. He just joined us. He had 12 in a row. Perfect game, 100,000. Then opened this game with two in a row. Hmm. John Petraglia, strike six or better, a winner. Anything less, it becomes the Traber brothers for the title. Here we go. Must strike on this ball. <clears throat> Good. Of all times. Dale Traver wins. John gets his horrible break. Watch this shot. This is Johnny's Sunday punch. But he drives him right over the top. Standing over for the jam. Standing only for the man that shot the... $300 and $100,000 check recipient, Johnny Petraglia, and there's Dale Traber, who knocked him out. And now Dale will have to meet his younger brother for the PBA National Championship as this ABC Sports presentation of the Professional Boulder Show will continue after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. aren't Tums. Same thing. Got yeah, them all mixed up. I told you, they're all the same. Listen to me. Tums has calcium. Is this calcium? No. It uses aluminum and magnesium. So does this. The only one of these that helps wipe out heartburn and gives you calcium you need is Tums. Hmm. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. Tums insist on calcium-rich Tums. My uh, truck has uh, 99,000 miles on it. And it's like a it's like a brand new engine. America is talking about split fire. I use lower octane now. Um, it seems like it runs like I had the, the premium in there. I feel like I have more power. I feel like I have a new engine. No hesitation. You get your passing gear, you're gone. Right now. They'll pay for themselves. Basically, in the first six months, you own them. I think they're fantastic. Split fire at five ninety nine. It only costs more till you use it. I'm Diane Sawyer. I hope you'll join us for the real story of the girls next door. That is, until they became the Manson girls. And I began to stab her. And you'll go face to face with Charles Manson himself. Turning Point premieres Wednesday at 10, 9 Central. When you make a patrol stop, you are in a dildo. Hey, what may I help you? I think you have to have a police officer in trouble there. On the next prime suspect, a young cop murdered. You can help bring in the killer help us find this guy and you let justice be served a rip-off artist so slick he'll charm you right out of your mercedes 30 years in the business but the guy had me buffalo on the next prime suspect tonight at seven on whtm hi i'm marcel and i'm frank we started the lilac city tournament 26 years ago and we plan to pay over one million dollars in the 94 lilac there's great team events for men women and mix and the lilac has doubles and singles events so bowl in rochester new york at the lilac with 18 great events any bowler with a league average can win in the lilac call 1-800-36-LILAC for all the details 
Bowling Rochester. You could be one of our big winners in the Lilac City Tournament. Rob Dixon has the forecast tonight on 27 News. I'm Julie Moran in New York. We'll return to bowling in just a moment. But coming up next, ABC's Wide World of Sports returns with a special figure skating showcase. It's the beauty and elegance of the dance competition at the Durasoft Colors World Challenge of Champions, featuring Olympic gold medalists Klimova and Panamarinko. Plus, 1992 World and Olympic champion Christy Yamaguchi and pairs Olympic gold medalists Gordieva and Grinkov headline a one-of-a-kind event featuring 38 gold medalists in skates of gold. And from California, we kick off our horse racing coverage with the running of the Santa Anita Handicap Live. And from the pages of Sports Illustrated, a profile on controversial Temple basketball coach John Chaney. It's all coming up next on Wide World. Now let's return to bowling. Very first match today, the fifth seed, Johnny Petraglia, Triple Crown Champion, defeated Eric Farkle, 237 to 181. The excitement was yet to come against Walter Ray Williams, Jr. You got it. Perfect 300 game running out is 11 strike out of 12. 100,000. Then Dale Traver, one of the Traver boys, defeated Johnny Petraglia, 193 to 188, which means that for the first time, it's an all-brother final. David Younger, Dale, his opponent. That's all happening here at Imperial Lanes in Toledo, Ohio. And you know, very serious for Johnny Petraglia. There were some light moments, too. But I know in your career as a bowler, you probably have some funny moments. Well, I know they do because the videos are starting to come in. So send us funny videos on your bowling career, and we'll appreciate it very much. The address is Bowling Videos, Ansonia Station, Post Office Box 1800, New York, New York, 10023-1800. Bo and I will really appreciate it. All of us will at ABC. Okay, Curtis Odom has been our interviewer today, and he's with a happy mom and dad. Mr. and Mrs. Traver, I know this is, uh, that was a very exciting match. This is very difficult for both of you. What are you feeling right now? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, who do you want to win? Uh, the best bowler, me the best bowler win. I like them both to win, but they can't, so whoever bowls the best is going to win. They're, they're rooting for a tie, so uh, Traver and Traver, <laughs> let's get it on. Okay. Well, the brothers. They're, uh, these are two of the four Traver brothers. Their other, one of their brothers, Daryl, and his wife, Joan, are here. Daryl is the enduro racer. Uh, they've all been into stock car racing in Wisconsin most of their adult lives. Here's the tournament leader, David. I'll tell you, he gets a good break there. He breaks out the 6-7 split, and David threw that ball pretty well. He felt that that ball would set up in the pocket, so the lanes are starting to hook a little bit more as it's a warm day in Toledo warm in this bowling center, so he'll have to make a little adjustment against his brother. In Moline, LLI, during a regional tournament, Dale defeated Dave. That's Dave in the check shirt. This is Dale with the blue. Push and seven, the head pin goes shooting across to the right channel. The five doesn't have quite enough impetus to knock out the seven. Once again, it's a little bit better than the five-seven split he left in the ninth frame against Petraglia. Both players look like they're gonna open the championship match with a spare. Between them, 24 regional titles. Now in the 56 games, especially the 24 match game player uh, play, these players both, the brothers, met twice. Dale whipped David both times, 257, 245 the first round in the championship or final position round last night, 225 to 184. Three six ten. 
The ball just drifts high for Dale. Doesn't give it quite enough room or speed. Cuts through. He's had the 3 6 10 a couple of times today. Has not missed it. Been very sharp on his spares. That was Dale Traber. Now, David, who won the National Resident Pro Championship in 1986, defeating Mark McDowell, 245 to 200. Check for 5,000, and it, um, he earned a trip to the Tournament of Champions. Dave is surprised at his ball reaction. He is having had the ball set up from that position, just set solid in the pocket. But right now, today, as you watch his release, he's very quick, right through the bottom zone, a lot of speed, quickly with the lift, but he drifts high for the 410. He trails his brother after two frames by 10 pins. This is a match for the PBA National Championship. Now, what David usually does when he struggles with the lanes going high, he goes with more loft in speed. Dale, who doesn't throw as hard, will usually move farther in on the lane. There's the loft in speed. And right adjustment. Here's a man that had two 300s during the week. And both brothers had a 299. Dale last night with a solid 10 pin on his attempt for his per first perfect game on the PBA Tour. in the championship match. As we remind you, the next Saturday we head to the Garden State as hometown hero hosts Bowling's Best. Join one of the sports greats who shot a 300 today, Johnny Petraglia. It's his open. Next Saturday at 3 Eastern and Pacific 2 Central, right here on ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour. Similar styles, different demeanors. The reticent manner of Dale. Leading by 10, can make it 20. Not to be as he drifts mm -hmm. high on the left-hand lane. Dale's now the newcomer to the PBA National. He had a 60th, two 60ths, he had a 40th, and he had an 11th in 1988. Brothers in a close championship game. Today's championship trophy, well, it appears to span Toledo's Maumee River with lots of ice. I really didn't want my husband to color his gray hair. But then I discovered this, the hair coloring called Just for Men. And now he looks better than ever. Apply Just for Men and in five minutes, rinse. No wonder eight out of ten wives prefer the natural Just for Men look to gray hair. It's like you took off ten years. With Just for Men hair color. And now, new Just For Men color gel for the hard-to-color hair of mustaches and beards. Brush in, rinse out, just five minutes. Where nature stores gas. Where man does. Right idea. Writer idea. True value. Help is just around the corner. Louisville heads west to take on UCLA, where Kansas invades Oklahoma for a key Big 8 battle. It's Pizza Hut College Basketball Sunday on ABC. Two of their four sons are battling at Imperial Lanes in Toledo, Ohio. Bob and Jeanette's son, Dale against his brother, David, at whom you're looking. Tournament leader, 10 pens both separating these two. Can make it even with a strike here, though. Okay. And Melissa, David's wife. Okay. I asked her, Chris, who... Uh, she thought was the better bowler, and she, of course she doesn't know a whole lot about bowling except where the bank is on Monday morning, but she thought that David had the experience of being out here on the tour 
the longest. Even though Dale has been whipping on David for most of his life, even as a young boy, she felt that her husband had a slight edge with experience. Well, both players have mm -hmm. to adjust, and the biggest difference between the average bowlers, you see Dave Traver drifting high here in the fifth frame with a four pin, and is the ability to adjust and recognize lane conditions, and both these players have to make some moves here in the last game. Okay. And uh, now the older brother, Dale, can get up. He owns a pro shop in Port Washington, Wisconsin, and immediately get hungry because there's a heck of a steakhouse there, Bo. You should know, you're a meat connoisseur. That's it. And when he's not on a tour, he works at the J.C. Penney Catalog Warehouse. Picking up some good bucks, I'm sure, but not sure. like he's going to pick up today if he can get his act together. He's already locked into a nice paycheck for second, but he needs to get going if he wants to win the national championship. It's 27 and 14, and that's an open train. Dale Traber has to do a little bit of what brother David has done. Pick up the ball speed here. It seems like if you keep the ball speed low, you drift high on too many shots. Let's see, 27 to the winner, 14 to the runner-up. Full grip of Dave Traver has an inch and five thirty second thumb hole. Big, big hand. For a player to get the most out of his abilities here on the PBA Tour, he really must know his strengths, but also understand his weaknesses. And Dale Traver doesn't have as quite as much experience as his brother David in understanding those weaknesses. David right now has made the adjustments. He has a 13-pin lead, and he can extend it to 23 with a strike in the seventh. Come on! Four pin. Johnny Petragli is sitting on the sideline saying, Oh, baby, if I could have carried that solid nine... I'd like to have been in this match because it looks like the left side of the lane held up a little better than the right. Both players struggling here for the title. Petragli with a 237-181 victory over Eric Portal. Then a 300 game with $100,000 for Johnny as he defeated Walter Ray Williams, 300 to 194. And then Dale Traver, whom you're looking, his 193 defeated Petraglia. Big shot for Dale here. Chris, I've had a good chance and opportunity over the years to bowl a lot of games on this championship pair, mm -hmm. and these players are a little bit confused about what to do, and there's one real solution, and it's the Walter Ray Williams type solution. You've got to fire and fall back here with three frames to go. Don't be playing around moving. Pick up that ball speed. Skating and racing. Three frames left. Neither player has ever won a major championship. 13 pin difference. Two brothers. Mm. Big brother's got a problem. Big problem. He's not even taking his time. And he's a pretty cerebral player. I've talked a lot with Dale. His mom and dad look on. They got a win-win situation. But Dale usually thinks his way through different problems. Right now, he looks a little confused out there, and he's going very quickly with his shot. Chris, I'd be surprised if uh, Brother David just doesn't slam two bullet okay. shots down there. He hit this lane in the sixth frame and the fourth frame with good solid speed. If he strikes here, I can bet in the ninth you're going to see a rocket. Let's see what happens. If he bowls like his favorite race car driver races, Dale Earnhardt, he will. Dale Earnhardt. Look at that. 
That's an Earnhardt. Well, he's down to the biggest ball of his career. If he strikes here, he can slam the door on Brother Dale. His wife, Melissa, looks on. Chris, I don't expect to see anything but a rocket shot right here. He can't take a chance on playing with the lane. Throw it. Worst thing can happen is he hits light if he throws it too hard. Surprises me. Here's the situation. Dave Traver with a spare and a strike would end up in the 196. Dale, best he can do is 187. David must mark in the ninth and 10th frames if his brother Dale strikes out. Traber must strike on the next three balls. Our younger brother, David, is the new PBA national champion. First of the Triple Crown, U.S. Open, followed by the General Tire Tournament of Champions. Mandatory that he strike on the next two balls. No chance if he doesn't strike. Best he can shoot is 187. He would force his younger brother to get any type of mark in the tenth. <clears throat> no, I think we were spoiled earlier with 14 in a row. <laughs> <laughs> that hundred thousand dollar check, but these boys don't have a chance at that. They're still trying to win a major That's title. It. Here we go. This big shot. Still in. The title is the thing. Well, we have to ask you a question. You like rather shoot 250 and lose or 180 and win? I think it's easy to answer that question as yes. these boys are going for the national championship. A strike here by Big Brother Dale will force David, the tournament leader, to mark. Got his spot. Smooth. Look at that come through, older brother. Three in a row, Nelson. You bet it just at the right time, partner. Yeah. He has forced his younger brother to get a good mark in the 10th frame. Traber must strike or get a good count in a spare to win the national championship. Tenth frame. Here we go. National champion right there. And you know, who's applauding for him is brother. Nods his head in approval. There is Dale. You know, beating him the only other time they met in a regional championship. Chris. But David came to Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> this is the national championship, a That's big right. difference. And he is the champion. That's Lock City. Okay. 187 for our older brother. And, and of course, David, the winner, the national champion will be in the 190s, all here at Imperial Lanes in Toledo. Okay. Genseo puncture-resistant tires on your next trip to New York. I like it. How about you? All right, Chief. Hope and light. Come on. Look, Daddy loves corn pops. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here he comes. The problem with a cereal that tastes like popcorn, only sweeter, is that it disappears like popcorn, only faster. Good boy. 
Uh, he may want seconds. Kellogg's Corn Pops. It's hard to stop when it's Pops. You know, I'm always teaching bowlers how to put fingers into the shot, not just the ball. But you can also use your fingers to save money. If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE, and you can save 30% at choice hotels like quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep. 30%. Now that's what I call aiming for the pocket. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at quality, comfort, clearing, and sleep hotels. Ladies and gentlemen, tears of joy. Congratulations, David, as Mike Connor, the commissioner, puts on the symbolic green jacket as national champion, and Daryl Ducat, our host here with a check for $27,000. Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, Daryl Ducat and all the scorekeepers here. They were great. Uh, and I'm glad I'm going to General Tire. And this is for my father-in-law who passed away three years ago. Thanks. Just great. And you, along with all of us, watch this man in a perfect game. Well, thanks, Chris. And, uh, well, I had my moment give uh, Dave his. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for Johnny. You can ask for a better show than this. This had to have been unbelievable. And Dale, we're proud of you, too. The Traver Brothers. See you next week at Johnny's Tournament. So long. See you then. The Pro Bowlers Tour has been brought to you by General Tire. For over 75 years, General Tire's been making quality tires that you and your family can depend on. Kellogg